Hello folks, welcome to a little uh, Rongo Mods tutorial. I uh, had a request from a few folks uh, about how to create uh, new custom blocks. Um, it's really fairly straightforward, so what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to go in, uh, I think I'll use my 14.5 game. So you go in your, your 7 days die data directory, wherever you have your 7 today's to die located and you can see I've got all kinds of configs um, so in your config you have got your blocks so your blocks XML is all you need uh, other than that well you need to create recipes if you're gonna do um, a custom recipe for it but today we're not gonna worry about the recipes we're just gonna go straight to creating custom blocks so let's go ahead and open this up uh, I'm gonna use notepad plus plus it's my text editor of choice and let me close my other one because these are probably in other directories so each block has a material, a shape, and textures. These are the things that, that matter, okay? Now, the material basically helps control base weight, uh, sounds that it's made when it's walked on, um, and basic resistances. Um, so there's that. Uh, the shape is if we look at let's look at a uh, wood frame uh, frame okay doo -doo, doo -doo, doo. Um, it inherits oh that's the wrong one near three that to find the right one a wood master okay um ba -boo. even this doesn't have the shape tied tied directly to it okay um, let's see if we can find one with the shape cut out. So here's cut out back faces wood frame master. So now that we've got these uh, master blocks, which everything inherits from. So you'll see in a block uh, something like so. There's wood master, but wood frame master. That's the master block. Everything else. Otherwise, like here's wood frame wedge. It extends this block, so it inherits all of these properties. Um, but then you override them and say, okay, it's, it's a hair, it's that, but it, the new shape is this. Okay. So this wedge 60 full is the 60 degree slope. Um, so it's a two parter. It doesn't quite go to a tip. It's that wedge. The ramp is the full 45 degree slope that actually finishes in one block. That makes sense. Hopefully that made sense. Anyway, uh, so the shape controls the way it looks. Basically, this is the this is the collision body, I guess you'd call it, and also where the textures get wrapped. Um, and then the texture, there are six sides on every cube. You get top, bottom, and you know front, back, left, right. So each one of those uh, is a texture on in this if there's only one texture listed then that texture is applied to all faces now i don't have a texture atlas uh link i'll see if i can find one before i end the video but or i'll put a link in the description if i can find one if i don't put a link that means i didn't find one but anyway uh so each texture is a certain thing so in this case this texture 381 is uh the wood slats basically so if we look for other blocks like scrap iron uh scrap iron this, this one extends our wood metal master scrap iron frame master so if we found if we look up this one this block scrap iron frame master so 357 is the co is the texture for the scrap iron okay so if we want to make a new block um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab I'll just grab this block as my starter you always want to make sure you grab something good as your starter now you can always extend something in fact let's, let's we'll just extend the wood frame that might be the simplest way to do this so let's go ahead and uh, wood frame master we're gonna extend this so we're gonna grab that block so they want one that already has the extends property in it. Otherwise, I, I could have that myself, but I'm boring. 
Um, so uh, these are my custom blocks. So we'll put this in here, and we're going to give this a block ID of 2010, and we're going to call this uh, Rongo Block. Rawr! So the shape, uh, I'm going to let it be inherited, so it'll have the same uh, cube shape, okay? And the big thing is we're going to change the texture. Grab that. And you want to do textures that are the same thing, I guess, is the way you did describe that. So, uh, what are the textures? Well, what you could do is you could look up in your game um, what the textures, are, textures were for certain things. Like, So, 196 is hay. So, if I put hay on one side, okay, remember there's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I could do it all like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And marvelous. I don't really care about that one. Actually, let's take the upgrade block out because we don't we don't need it. Um, can't pick up unless you pick it up when you put it down. Um, and then would frame master. So let's let's grab a few textures to use. Um, you generally don't want to confuse textures that are on um, other shapes, like this billboard plant. It's got a texture of 402. You could use it, but you could, might get some odd results because you're basically putting a plant texture onto a block frame, so it might look a little little odd. But like Sandbag, um, don't know if it's going to have... It's a model. I don't know if it's going to have a texture on it or not. I don't think so. Usually your models are going to have their own, the textures kind of baked in. Uh, there's a conduit, a corner conduit. So maybe we'll put a conduit on the edge of it. Um, so let's go ahead and go back down to our block down here. We'll put a, a tab up there. Let's look for, um, I don't know, uh, concrete. That's asphalt. So asphalt has a texture of 10. Let's use that on one, one face. Now, I can't remember the order. Uh, at one point, I knew the order, but um, you can play with it and see which face is which. Uh, let's go with red. Redwood uh, 214 for redwood. All right. Uh, how about a refrigerator? And that is texture 282. I can't remember if this is the, uh, which one it is. Which fridge that is. And how about um, uh, the oven? Alright. So here is, let's actually grab the next wall oven. So if you see here, so you've got the same face pretty much on a couple of them. So 345, 345, 345 is probably the left, back, and right with different textures on the front and the top and the bottom. So those could be it. I'm not sure which order again. So we'll just grab one of these. I don't know which texture is which, but we'll go ahead and do that. Put that down here, paste it there. So now we've got a new block that we've built in the game with new textures. Now, again, these textures can be on any shape, any block shape. So if you've got a half wedge or a, uh, like a good example is Valmod. Um, have you seen the Valmod pack? He's got a chicken coop that he built, and uh, it uses the texture for the farm wood fences, or one of the wood fences on the sides, and then hay on top, but it's only a half slab block. So he, he's using the model, or the shape, for the half mod, the half slab. So I think half, is it half block? Half, let's look for half. Pour concrete half, shape half. So it's just half would do that. So if you had your if you had your property you know property name equals shape 
value equals half, always make sure you close your, your tags, um, then that will give this a half block shape. So we'll go ahead and use a half block and we'll see what it looks like. So give me a second here and we'll launch the game and see what it looks like. Okay, first things first, I uh, spawned in a very annoying thing because I would have loved to have built my base right here. <laughs> Look at this, it's gorgeous. What a lovely little view. Game. You random Jenny game you. All right, uh, so we're going to go into creative mode, which I already just enabled, and we're going to look for Rongo block. I did not give it a custom icon, which, you know, you got to give it a custom icon for it to show up. All right, so you can see I placed a few on here already. So here's a bunch of different textures on that block. And because this block does not have a um, vertical rotation on it, it doesn't go up, so it just goes around like that. So there is a, uh, you can't change the top texture, and you can't change the, oh, let's put it up here like this. There, boom. So the bottom texture is like some sort of, probably the bottom or the side of the, Stove, probably. I'm gonna guess that is that kind of black material. Now I did have to make a quick change because um, the wood frame master uh, does not support the textures like this. You had I had to use the regular wood master. So you gotta check your master you're using, or you can just leave the master off completely and just build your block up, um, because sometimes certain blocks um, don't support uh, viewable textures. Basically, they're kind of hollow. They just have a... Yeah, they're weird. So anyway, I, I, I changed it to use... And I'll show you right here. I changed it to use the wood master rather than wood frame master. So we can tell really quickly because 196 was the uh, hay. That's the top. So this is the top. Okay. So that's the top texture. So it could be top, bottom left, right, front, back, or something like that. So again, you could play with it and figure out exactly which was which. So anyway, I hope this answers your question about blocks. Again, if you wanted to do, do a custom icon on something, you could just do property custom icon like that and give it a custom icon and you'd be done with it. So, um, Or if you get creative, you can actually create a mods folder, create your own icon and link to it from there. But all uh, righty, I think that's all it is. If you have questions, put them in the comments below, and uh, I will try and answer them the best I can. So anyway, for now, it's been Wrong with the Bold. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.